Hi, I'm Bill Laboon, Technical Education Lead at Web3 Foundation here in Zug, Switzerland. And today I want to show you how you can vote and take part in uh, the democracy system on Kusama or Polkadot. So I will be going through this on Kusama, but the steps are essentially the same on a Polkadot as well. So first, when you go to Polkadot.js, you will notice there is a governance and democracy uh, pull down here, uh, which you can see the little three indicators. So there are a couple of things happening here. When uh, we look at this page, you see that there is a uh, referenda. So we put one referendum listed here and proposals. So a proposal is just some proposal to do something. A, uh, it actually, it's, um, a, a, you know, it's a, a, a command to the system that you are proposing that you want to do. And what you will see every seven days on Kusama or every 28 days on Polkadot, uh, one of these proposals becomes uh, a referendum, either one of these proposals or a proposal from the council. Uh, at that point, the combined stake of the community, so all the Kusama or all the dot, uh, are able to vote on whether or not this proposal should take place. So in this instance, the, the, uh, this, this, uh, the referendum is for staking set validator count. So setting the number of validators uh, to 700. It's currently 600 on Kusama. So uh, and we have three days left to vote on this. The, the voting periods are seven day. Every seven days, a new item will come up. So this has been up for, for a while, and we've got a little over three days to, to vote on it. And if it's passed, then it will come into effect, that is the number of validators will increase to 700, uh, the ideal number of validators would increase to 700 after 11 days and four hours. So this shows you the exact block uh, that that will take uh, uh, effect. We also can see a little bit more information here. We see that there's currently 1.01% uh, uh, turnout and 17.35% have voted aye or yes. Uh, which indicates uh, that it is uh, failing. So it is not passing currently. That doesn't mean it won't pass uh, in the next three days, but with the votes now, it is not passing. So you'll note it also says supermajority approval. Uh, in a different kinds of referenda require different amounts uh, to pass. So a standard proposal uh, that is proposed from the public will require a supermajority to pass. And the supermajority actually varies based on the turnout. Uh, if a proposal becomes a referendum via the council, then if the council voted unanimously, it's actually sort of the opposite of a supermajority appro approval. It is biased towards passing, uh, and the lower the turnout, the easier it is to pass. If it goes past, the, if it's from the council, but the council was not unanimous, then it's a simple majority carries vote. That is 50% plus one. So this will tell you, uh, and I'll actually show you uh, a way of figuring out a little bit more precisely uh, what the votes necessary uh, to pass it are uh, in a moment. So here we can see I's. We have 12 uh, accounts that have voted I. Uh, so that's I12. Uh, with a weighted total of 16,990 Kusama. And I'll talk about how, much, what, how weighting works uh, momentarily. Uh, and seven accounts that have voted nay uh, with a weighted total of 75,137. So when you vote, it is not the number of accounts that matter. It is the amount of weighted Kusama. So if you have 100 accounts with one Kusama voting in favor of something, and one account with a million Kusama voting against it, then that one account with a million Kusama uh, will win. And this may sound anti-democratic at first, but when you consider that there's no real way of uh, verifying how many real entities are behind these accounts, right? If you did have a million um, Kusama, you could just as easily make a million separate accounts uh, after you know, paying for transaction fees. And uh, you, know, per, you know, sort of pretending to vote as a million different people. And so uh, this is based on uh, 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 the number of Kusama that are in favor of it. Uh, however, I already mentioned you can weight your vote. 
So basically, the longer you lock your vote up, the more weight it is given. Uh, and you can actually increase the, uh, uh, the, the weight of your vote by up to six times by locking for up to uh, 256 days. Now, before you vote on this, you may want to know, uh, all right, well, let's hear some information uh, about this. What would be the, the pluses and minuses? What are you actually asking for? Uh, I like to click on uh, this uh, icon, which will take you to the Polk Assembly uh, page for this referendum, where you can see a little bit more information uh, about uh, the particular uh, referendum. Uh, and you may also occasionally see uh, comments uh, below as people d discuss it. Uh, this one doesn't have any uh, comments on it. But we can see here uh, the, the ayes have 16,990, nays 75,135. And in order for this to pass, we're going to need to have uh, 359,245 weighted Kusama voting uh, for it before it will, uh, it will pass. So that, of course, assumes that no one is voting nay and that uh, they're voting at you know, 1x weight. There are some assumptions here, but it's a good idea to see if something is you know, close to passing or not close to passing or close to failing or not close to failing. Here we can see that it's actually uh, rather far away uh, from passing, but again, turnout is quite low uh, here at only 1%. Another place to, to look is the Kusama Direction Channel on uh, matrix chat. So pound kusama colon matrix.parity.io uh, is where people meet to discuss different proposals and referenda and the future direction of kusama. There is also an equivalent uh, polka dot direction channel which you can follow if you're interested in learning about uh, the future direction of, of polka dot. So I have now decided that I am going to vote in favor of this. So uh, I have 1.5 Kusama in my account. Uh, I don't have to vote all of it. I don't need to uh, uh, vote with all of my uh, Kusama. So let's say I just want to vote for half of my Kusama, uh, like uh, half a Kusama. Uh, I then can change my conviction. So one of the things when you do vote, uh, your Kusama will be locked until the end of the voting period. And by default, after that, you will get your Kusama back. However, at that point, then your vote is only worth one-tenth of the amount of Kusama that you're voting with. If you wanted to vote, if you want to vote with, uh, so that would be worth uh, 0 0.05 uh, of, of, the, of, of a Kusama. If I wanted this to actually be worth half a Kusama, my vote, I would have to lock for one enactment period, which is eight days on Kusama or uh, 28 on Polkadot. And if I really, really believed in this, I could lock up, up uh, uh, two enactment periods or 16 days, uh, in which case my vote would count as one Kusama, all the way up to 6x, where this half a Kusama vote would count as three Kusama, but I would have to lock up for 32 enactment periods, which is 256 days. So here I'm uh, just going to vote uh, for 1x. So this will count as half a Kusama. And I'm going to uh, vote I. I want to change the number of validators. So if I want to see more information, I can always click here, which will show me some more detailed information about what I'm actually voting on, what message I'm uh, sending. Sign and submit. Okay, so uh, we will soon see uh, the eyes uh, increase slightly here with my extra uh, half of Kus half of Kusama voting for it. Yeah, we can see, there it is. Um, but let's say that, uh, so now I have voted, and I don't have to do anything else uh, from the, this point, and my vote will, will be counted. However, let's say that I have a change of heart. I decide that, you know what, really, I do not want to increase the number uh, of validators. It should say it's 600 and not 700. As long as there is still time remaining in the voting period, then I can... 
uh, change my vote simply by uh, voting again. Since the same account can only vote uh, uh, once, uh, then this will actually take away the vote for I and put that vote uh, to nay. So here I am going to keep my vote value the same and conviction the same, but I'm going to vote nay. Once again, sign and submit. And you can see that the eyes reduced by half a Kusama uh, weighted and the nays increased uh, by half a Kusama weighted. So I hope this has whet your appetite for participating in uh, Kusama, Polkadot, or really any other substrate uh, chain that supports democracy uh, in their uh, uh, referenda.